Alrighty. Welcome back, everybody, to the Outer Wilds DLC. It's nice to be back again. I was thinking a lot about this game, obviously, in the 24-hour break that I had between uh, Twitch sessions. As for YouTube, you guys will just seeing this, you know, as you are. Um, but I've had a lot, a lot of time to think about this, about this uh, story, where it's going, what it's kind of leading me to. Um, I've had a lot to think about. Still haven't really spoiled myself, though, but I still have a lot. There's still a lot going on. And, you know, I'm, like, watching back my footage, and I'm like, man, I really don't articulate enough how I'm feeling in the present moment. I was just, I was so lost by this new DLC. It was insane. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of people are like, oh, man, he doesn't get it. I think I get it. Like, I'm trying to understand, because this, I mean... As far as we can tell, this, this story is just so, like, different than this. But it's just, like, it's just so apart, you know? I don't think you'll ever find an attachment here. But, I mean, this story is still incredibly insane. These dear people sensed the eye of a neighboring solar system and took off. Maybe not all of them, but, like, a, a good subset of people, of the dear people, took a journey to our system using a spaceship with a cloaking device to not really interfere with us, just let, they were doing their own thing, examining the eye. They realized, I guess at some point, that the eye's intentions were not really good. We never figured out in the original game what the purpose of the eye was. We never really figured out what its energy signal was or what, it, or even if it was maybe luring us to kill us. That's what the deer people thought, at least. They burned down all the churches of the eye of the universe they've soon they uh, over time they got sick or homesick in a way they missed their place developed this technology using these artifacts to carry flames of their home world they essentially t transport back as if teleporting or dreaming that's what it looked like at least and then at some point um they Lock something away in a a vault. A strange vault wrapped in change with three glowing symbols. And yeah, so um, in this uh, subterranean lake um, is the vault. And it looks like the vault was teleported to this lake from this using this flame artifact technology. There's great rays of green light we don't know if these these people are powerful they might have some sort of light power that's how they can open doors with the the lights and stuff um but yeah they use this essentially to pay homage or continue to be with their people but obviously they're in our system and they were not free from the ghost matter when the ghost matter erupted even though they were dreaming, they all perished. And that's why we can see some of the ghost matter in there. Now, at this point, there's still there's a lot of stuff we don't know about this temple yet. There's still there's a there's a code there and there's a code at the subterranean lake for each of the three chains. I thought our goal was to find a code in each one of these little these little areas that we dreamt to to the original to these dear people's homes doesn't look to be the case it actually doesn't even look like there's a lot to discover here because i haven't even really been to the stratted woodlands yet i haven't really explored that area a lot because it's apparently very terrifying and that's why that there's a reduce fright option so we'll see what that has to do um but yeah there's still a lot i don't really know um hopefully we'll clear that up um, also, I'm connected to, um, I'm connected to Ethernet tonight. We'll see how long that lasts, but if so, that means that the FPS should be a little higher. It should, I should be able to the, have a little bit of better throughput for you guys. Moon, how are you doing today? We're not really focused on you. Uh, oh, another thing. Um, oh my gosh, the moon's just following me. Another thing, another thing. 
Uh, apparently I was on the right track, but I didn't really do a, a, enough digging. I was right, I could talk to Gabro about, um, the, um, what we found. So we'll do that real quick before we head on over. I was right the first time. It's honestly crazy how much they packed in. Obviously, when you're initially playing, um, oh, nice. When you're initially playing the Outer Wilds, oh, hi. Um, a lot of the time you're like, you're going to all these different places. This time around, you're just on focused on one area, which seems a little weird, right? How can, um, I think this is right. How can, I don't know. Just wanted to talk to Gabber real quick. It was my time, buddy. How's time to use you? I found something. Um, yeah, I found your, the photo of you inside the old radio tower. Nice. It looked busy. I hope it looked busy. Must have been a hold of Hornfell sent me to check on the deep space satellite. Thought they thought old space might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it, which is probably how I got shot in my beautiful behemoth face. I always thought it was kind of sweet to find Neil Spacey. Uh, why do I think it's a good bucket, though? No. Hornfell's probably told me why, but Hornfell's tells me a lot of things. Sometimes I need to tune out or pretend that there's a signal interference. I can't hear them. Best guess is there's deep space satellites that sent Timberhurst some weird pictures, like what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, um, yeah. I think, um, there's a lot of stuff I in this game that I still, like, I think, I, there's a lot of stuff I didn't really, uh, like, quote, or I didn't really, um, see. You know? I have a map? Yeah, uh, Okay, there's the map button. This tells you. Um, I mean, said like it's not super old, but it's hard. It's hardly brand new. Old is more of a turn affection. You're being very literal about this mindset. Old spacey likes visitors. You know, fast way to travel it. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Um, there's a lot of dialogue I definitely uh, haven't like talked to. You know. It would be cool to check that out sometime. Anyways. I so was on the right track. I just need to do a little bit of digging on that. And I would have uh, seen that. Um, whatchamacallit. Anyways. We have a weird thing in space that we need to get to. Which we can't see right here. We got to go to this bad boy and mark ya on the map. Hello, you. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much caught up with the, uh, everything we've kind of been doing. And now we kind of know what to do, I think. I think we've got a better idea. So we're back here at the stranger. We're gonna start out by heading to the um, broken artifact testing room in the laboratory. This time we're gonna be very articulate with what we do here because gotta find the right things to do before we, whatchamacallit, start our adventure. Okay. Let's get started. I learned a few things. I learned um, there was a loop I was testing stuff. There was a loop I was testing. Um, I'm trying to remember what this guy was. Oh yeah, this was the the various um, thingies. The various um, three artifacts. The middle one being the one that blew up. Um, We'll just grab this one already. Uh, things I learned is that if I park my ship outside of the, um, the stranger, like outside the window, and then I fly in with my ship, I can see my ship floating just right around like 
the the mirror. It's kind of fun. Uh, that was a funny thing I discovered. Also, I got an achievement by knocking the satellite off of its course, uh, rendering it unusable. So that was funny. Uh, that was an accident, though. Um, okay. So why did I start here? I wanted to start here because obviously you have um, the cave. Or the, um, what is that? That's the Endless Canyon. That's where that goes. I just wanted to kind of just make sure. Ow. I was kind of just caught up on everything. Because there's a lot that... Again, for like just being a one system, like it's hard, right, just to put a bunch of DLC in just one area and fill it with a lot of stuff. But they have, they've been doing a great job with that. And I don't think those are like shield protectors, more of those, the green things popping out. I think those are more or less like jet um, or just kind of rockets propelling us uh, away because they know that they, they, detected that the sun was about to explode and i think i think i said this last uh, in, in one of those episodes but i think that's why the dam breaks just the sudden movement in uh the ship causes it to it's probably not been used to um this type of movement speed before because it, it does blow up really quickly um i need a light source we might we might do a loop tour of this a uh, two of this just kind of recapping making sure everything i've got up to speed with um just seeing if there's anything else we might have missed along the way i don't think so though just making sure yeah so that one doesn't work the second one exploded and the third one Yeah, so the third one works. Oh, apparently I, my ship log updated. I guess I never finished that one. It's weird that the ship log is being weird this time around. Like it's really not telling me everything that is going on. Like I, like I think it already says I've cleared this area. Yeah, it's telling me more information. Like I feel like the original game was way more strict on saying, saying stuff that I, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, was missing. It was like, hey, you, you're you not done yet. And let's just check this one more time. I tried to use these to see if I could find some sort of clue. So, Because each one of these requires a five-digit key. Um, like the one we used to get into, I, I want to say, like the, like, the main pilot area. But I just don't think this has anything useful. I don't think it does, at least. Anyways, so now... Let's see if we can head over to the church again. And see if we can pick up anything else that... Uh, so look at this, there's... A slide wheel from a burning green fire. You see that? I'm wondering if... I think if I remember correctly, it's you go left of this tree and then right of the other tree. Yep. And then hold against the wall. Nicely done. Well, the dam's not broken yet. It's almost about to be there, probably. How's it going? What's up, Tom? Hope you're having a great day today. We're back in it. This is another church that probably they burnt down. Because they're like, oh, the eye's evil. But yeah, so this. I could sit here for five hours and figure out what the code is. But I don't want to do that. Let's let's figure out the legit way to get this code. Weirdly enough, there's a... Don't ask about my day? Oh, what the heck. Weirdly, there's a light that gets pushed here. See, like, they always do stuff for a reason in these games. Why is there a light? Is there, like, something... I could use this for aim, look somewhere. I don't know. See, like, there's a code required here, and there's a code required at um, all three of the chains of the locks. 
for the vault. I'm just like, where do we even start, you know? There's nothing here telling me what to do, and there's nothing else here, so. Oh, there's the dam. Luckily, that building is pretty much useless, so nothing there. We explored everything that there was here, telling me about this structure, or yeah, the submerged structure. We could have another look here. I think there's only one thing left to do, really. Go into those dream sequences. Which I've heard are terrifying. Or I've just... That's just... I've seen. Check pack refuel. And the this ship, which... there's a So there's another ship of this disc that's been launched off, I think. Right? Or just... There was a connection between them, the two that was lost. I'm just trying to see if this is everything. I just feel like it's not, you know? Like, what's this building? Have I been in here yet? I don't know. You tell me. Oh. Uh, there's a raft in it? Oh, it's this is the initial room. So you open up, uh, yeah. To send me on my adventure. It, <laughs> it's been destroyed. So funny. Very funny. I like it. Oh, nice, because the lights went out when the dam explodes, this path's already been open to me. It, it's so insane how beautiful this looks. True. This, I think this area is clear as well. Oh, look. That's right. So when I was in the dream sequence, I was in there, and then I got sunk out. And that does mean that I think we're about to run out of time. Yep. <laughs> right on schedule. But, um... Yeah. Oh, oh, what? I wasn't safe from that raft. You're not safe from the raft. I found a side where it shows three experiments connected to three different artifacts. The third appears to have been a success. It looks like I have everything unlocked here. But see, look, see, look, it said we had finished the damage laboratory, yet it gave me more information. So I wonder if there's more to explore there at the endless cannon. Canyon. There might be um, a quest to do, and we'll just have to look at it. This was an artifact room or a building of this little town, right? That had the slide reels of the first two. That had the church. Nothing really new here, right? That building didn't have anything important on it either. That building told me about the hidden cave. Again, we're just we're doing this as like a recap loop or two just to make sure everything's on pace No stones left unturned before we take a dive into what's to follow This is the the ban the destroyed church because they found out that I was actually evil surprise There's Fire on these jetpacks. Why is there f I guess it's propulsion Flames it's the general symbol here Okay. I wonder if we'll ever be able to, like, learn their language. Maybe if we, uh, head into those dream sequences. Dialing cave bait. I think it's the one... Did I get the slide wheel from here that told me about the... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This slide wheel told me about the, um... The cave, right? Yeah. I don't need to bring it with me. This is the one that told me about the, wow, you're, if you take apart the things in each of these towers, you can head into the flamey area. And that's how I learned. And so this tower is actually providing it, the dreams, or I don't know. They're transmitting our minds in a sense, but they're doing it in four different places. So. 
I've essentially seen kind of what we need to do. And it, it, I was atten uh, essentially right. I was uh, right with my hypothesis, at least. In each of the three areas. In each of these three areas, there's a lost archive that I believe has the code for the thing. In the Endless Cannon, Canyon, not Cannon, I went through and found a mural. Remember though, murals can go away with light. So I need to extinguish, use my power of the flame to extinguish the light. I basically have to figure out, am I um, a wimp? I'm going to play it with it, reduce fright mode on and not play a horror game. Or am I going to um, be a man? Oh gosh. When they said there was going to be uh, scary parts, they were not kidding. Also, I believe there's something I missed here in the gorge. Let me check something out. Aha! Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. I knew that there was something amiss, or something I had missed. Wow, it's just so much footage just lost. And what is this? I don't even know what this stuff is. Maybe this is how they made the discs. does not fit. <gasps> okay. We can just do this again, right? does this do already holding lantern I don't even know what this is all right well I guess let's take it with us know this existed it's another entrance into here huh well that was very weird hello more stuff to look at though we're getting somewhere slowly slowly right
This is different than any of the others. There it is. That's what you have to do. That is how you get to the Lost Archive for the third ring. But how did I just completely go by this? This is so crucial. How did I miss this? Might only be one way, one way left to do this now, right? We've been here before. We know about this area, but now we need to turn off the lights to get access to the secret tomb. I guess there's one for all three of them, which means I really need to, um, I really need to think about, um, really need to do my digging. All right. Yep. There it is. You just walk across this, it looks like. Okay. Very crazy. Oh, all right, another door it looks like, but now whew, turn off the lights. Damn. Uh-oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I heard the... Oh. You guys are right in here? They seem fun. So that's what I have to do. That is what I have to do. Okay. Uh oh. Weird, huh? So I need a. How did that little room, like. Man, I, I might need to go th find all those little rooms. Because that is crucial information. I got crucial information out here about the endless cannon in there. And if I can do that for one of them, what makes I what makes it not think I could do it for find all of them? So we're gonna meditate one more time. I'm just gonna continue to push other things aside going into those dream areas until we uh actually need to. Cheers. 
slide burning oh slide burning room a room full of burnt slide reels piled next to a strange device slide burning room. that's how they make the slides okay i found a symbol slide i found a hidden slide well that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure the lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container to a secret passage by a mural of a large tree See, look, I wonder if there's like one for all of them. Oh. The reel I found in the slide burning room showed a container marked with a glowing uh, symbol handed being to a star figure. Yeah, okay. See, like, look, I feel like they're all gonna get connected in some way, right? Because look at how the, these um these are mapped out. See this? Uh, like in the, in the thing? This will probably have a slide burning room that goes to here and one that goes to here. See that? Anyways, are we near the... Um, hello? Oh my goodness, why is my game... What is that? Did you guys see something? Well, we'll look at that later. Why do I keep seeing something weird when I fly to this area? I don't know. Okay. In we go. This might, or it just might be the fact that you just you find one that leads you to hint of all of them. I don't know, that just seems so weird, right? Hello, I'm on top of the world. It's been a while since we've been back there. It's not one of the three areas that is a very scary area. We could potentially head back. To that area, maybe. What is this little guy here? Oh, it's the little, it's the little viewing capsule that we've seen before. That's kind of funny, actually. Ow. Are you ready to take a look back? That is the marshmallow button. I hate when I mix up the marshmallow button and the sleeping button. That's just like real life. Okay. Back down we go. Turn on all the lights. So now we know that <laughs> last time we were here, we were I was worried that there was something in the water, like a fish. Well, and now I know that there's not, but there's still no potential way. But there could be a bridge here. Hmm. You see this stuff? So they blow into it. Anyways, um. Let's try to open this guy again. There's nothing here, right? No, this has. Unless there's a way we can turn off those lights, there's no way. Which I, which is probably what this does. If we get this code right, this probably turns off this light. This one probably makes this guy come to you, and this one, and this guy turns on a bridge. If we, if we uh, get the code for them. What, what, what is in here? <gasps> Wait, can we look inside? Okay, three codes. In the island tower, up, 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 up. Yep. Uh, we already known about this.
Aha. Uh -huh. I need to look one more time. Can I look at one more? The three keys, right? And then in this tower, we need to turn off the lights in there. Wait here. I'll be right back. He goes to the left. No lights. Huh. Looks like we might have, um, some places to go. Okay. That is very interesting. Something I didn't look at beforehand. And, I ne and a little bit better information, because now I know how to really get there. Hi. I'd like a board. Go, go, go. It's not yet uh, been destroyed yet, so. Here we are. And apparently all we gotta do is turn off the, these lights. How do you turn off the lights? Hello, building. Hmm. Maybe the same way you do this. Shoot. I know that, but it doesn't really do anything, though. It doesn't turn off the lights in that main room. How you go about doing that? Is there any way we can, like? This is the tower. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that, see? Right there. There's another way in. Uh-oh. Ugh. Whoopsie. Okay. Huh. Hmm. 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 Secret passage. The light coming from off the vault gave me a vision of, of climbing a spiral staircase. The light coming out of the vault gave me a vision of climbing a spiral staircase to a room near the top of the tower. One of the stranger's inhabitants pointed at a mural of the tower beneath a nighttime sky, then picked up an artifact and left the room. Sometime later, the lamps the mural went dark, revealing a secret passage. Well, I don't know what to do with that. You tell me. There was a another passage in this one. Like, there's the candlelit tower sits so atop a nearby island. See this guy. Ow, ow. Alright. You know what? Ship, maybe just stop should being so broken. How do I know how to repair this stuff anyway? Oh, I have gravity damage. I wonder what that means. Does that mean I don't have gravity in the ship when I'm moving? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's what that means. Oh, nice. This is pretty good. Hello. Well, I can, at least I can just take a look at my ship log. Hey, uh, can I come off the ceiling? Oh! <laughs> Yo, I love, I love when this happens. I wonder how fast I can go around this, this loop. I'm pretty good at it, I feel like. Look how fast I am at doing this. I'm speed. Are you seeing this? No. I am speed. Lightning McQueen? Is that you? I don't know. 